Hey, Live for Wild here. Just uh, going to take a first look at this new Starline brass. I've never bought brass before in my life. I've always shot enough of it. But I'm having a hard time finding 45 Colt brass or 45 long Colt. So I'm going to take this out of the package, mic it, check case length, and check thickness compared to some factory ammo too. So let's uh, take a look. All right, my first impression of this brass, I'm liking it so far. I have noticed the difference between this is a one shot fired uh, Winchester brass, and there, there is a little crimp inside of there. I'd be worried about shooting that over n numerous times, that would split. I've seen cases split like that before, all the way around. You know, that'd be your weakest point. But there's no crimps in the sides of this. Primer pockets look good. Um, everything looks pretty good on them. Let's throw the, the calipers on them. Here's uh, once fired 1.272. Here's another once fired Winchester 1.272, which is under the the spec, but it's a factory load. So, and then here is the star line 1275, which is right on the money as far as case recommendation for case length. 12745 so 1276 so these are good to go as far as reloading there's no burrs in here nice and smooth uh, OD of this force 4735 and then the OD which should be bigger because he's been shot 4790. So here's another Winchester 4795 right at the outside spec. So what I've done is I took an OD measurement as best I could with the tools that I have, and then I took an ID measurement and I took them two numbers, subtracted them, divided them by two, come out with eleven thousandths wall thickness. So then I did the same here to check the thickness of the wall. Did the OD and then checked the ID. Took that number, subtracted them from each other, divided by two, and I come up with the same number as eleven thousandths. So actually a pretty nice brass, you know, one two seven yeah. Right now, I don't see nothing wrong with this Starline brass. I did, this is the first time I've ever bought brass. I paid $24 for 100 because I've been just shooting factory loads and I am a reloader, so I've been hunting for brass. No luck. If you know of any places that are carrying 45 long coat brass, let me know. I think it's popular because of the cowboy action shooting. I'm not sure. But overall, imp first impression, pretty good stuff. I will be uh, reloading this stuff. I can give you an update if you want. But I think I'm good to go. I don't even have to case trim these to start out. Nice and clean. Finished nice. Actually did a pretty good job. So... If you have an opportunity to buy some of this brass, it's worth a try. But make sure you measure your specs and everything so you know what you're getting into. Alright, hopefully this helps you with some of your brass needs. Thanks again.